Facing death more imminently now than in the earlier years of my life really saddens me because I so much enjoy being alive, enjoying all that's around me. Right now the sunshine, the vegetation, the wonderful vistas, I really cherish life a lot. But when my illness weakens me to the extent that I can't muster enough energy. And I know that your attitude towards your illness, your attitude towards life, that you have to become an active participant in the healing process, all of which takes a lot of energy. But when I am awakened after a horrible night of 104 fever, you know, and feel as I do right now, God, you know, I don't want to miss a moment of it. I'm really much more aware of doing things that bring pleasure to others and to myself. You know, and, and that's so rewarding, and I can go into more detail. I really enjoy being with people and listening to people, 
each person to me is like reading a novel. That you discover all new, you know, drama of life. So I'm, I'm a good listener. People like to tell me their stories. I also um, respect people's creativity and potential that I sense. And connecting with that possibility and creating supportive conditions makes this work so exciting because people want to be acknowledged, people want to be supported. Buckminster Fuller always talks about a research project that indicated that trust, autonomy and initiatives are the springs of creativity. But if you nurture people, if you trust people, if you support people and let they have their own initiative, it really works wonderfully. And that's exactly happens in the country to this community garden commons right now. And it's since to one one aspect of my illness is really very helpful because I can't go to meetings. So people realize it's really drastic and they rally and that's a wonderful meetings right now where different people assume certain responsibilities, so I feel really delighted. I think to be in witness of people working together in the common pursuits is a ray of hope to me in a world perceived by violence and wars, an indication of social and human potential.